Hi, this is Lorne Lehan from SEOtoolsforyou.com. I'm here to bring you another video tutorial, and in this video tutorial, I'll be talking about cPanels, their use, their features, and how to benefit from using the cPanels. So, first of all, this is my site, and I just wanted to point out the Alexa rating is down to 768,176. Now, as I started these video tutorial series, that rating was 2.8 million. So it's actually dropped almost 2 million places on the internet. So my goal is to get this under 100,000. So with your help in, in having a look at the site, uh, commenting on some of my posts, signing up for the uh, free tutorials, having a look at my YouTube SEO tools for you, uh, that's YOU channel, and making comments there, we should be able to get this down to under 100,000. So the goal for this website. So first of all, what is a cPanel? Well, I'll quickly show you what a cPanel is. So it's very important for anyone doing anything with the internet. If you're building sites, if you're monitoring traffic, if you're setting up domains, this is what you need to get very used to. I'll just step back a bit uh, because before we have a look at the cPanel, we need to go into buy a domain. So in this case, I use GoDaddy and I find they're, they're huge on the on the internet and for buying domains you can get a fairly good price. Now I have made a few videos on how to actually find really bargain price aged domains. If you have a look at the previous videos uh, on the SEOtoolsforyou.com site you'll see a, a video saying how to find a, and create a domain name. So once once you buy your domain from GoDaddy I go to HostGator. Now that's HostGator.com and this is a, a site that allows you to host your your domains. Now you can host it at GoDaddy but I would suggest signing up for HostGator and that way it makes it very affordable. So as you can see here for $3.96 which is this awesome price, it's actually 20% off this month, you can actually host this as many sites as possible and just get some really good experience on your belt for $3.96 a month. So once you, once you buy a domain from GoDaddy, for instance, and once you sign up for HostGator hosting domain, and I'll provide you with a link if you don't mind using, it just allows me to make a bit of money for creating these videos. So once you sign up for HostGator and go through all the to your details, and uh, they'll they'll bill you three ninety six per month. You can actually go in here and try the cPanel demo. Now what I'll do is I'll go straight to my cPanel so uh, I can show you a bit more a bit more detail. Now this is my live cPanel and as you can see there's quite a few icons here. It's very rich in feature and functionality. So let me just go through some of the more important icons that point out at the moment. Uh, of course there's video tutorials and if you don't get enough from my video tutorial you're certainly welcome to go in and have a look at the cPanel uh, video tutorials. So you've got uh, videos on MySQL, which is a database. You can change the style and theme of your of your cPanel. Subdomains, that's important. We'll touch on that. Add on domains, that's really important. Park domains, you can change passwords. And you can also set up your database and have a look at your file behind your domains by using the file manager. You can back up your uh, domains using the backups and you can also control your FTP accounts which is your file transfer protocol so that's how you get the information to and from your website so there's uh, just have a look through that there's a lot of video tutorials so going back here now what I primarily do is I look at the email accounts so you can easily set up an email account and this is a drop down list oh first of all let me just step back a bit when you sign up for a hosting account they're going to be asking you what is your URL. So you'll provide your URL that you just bought from GoDaddy. You'll provide it to the uh, when you sign up for the host gator for your hosting domain. And then you come down here and you can see my main domain is my cash creators online store dot com. Now you can still use that domain, but I choose to do things like add on domains. So I know I'm jumping around a bit, but this is primarily where I add on additional domains. Now once you once you start going and you have a few domains like you have one domain for your hosting account that is the master domain for your cPanel as I just showed you a few minutes ago and then when once you add once you buy more domains through say GoDaddy once you sign up and buy and find yourself more domains what you do is come straight into cPanel here and you add your new domain um, say new domain 
www.ghostbusters.com and it will just say that's a, a valid domain name. So once you tab down it will add your new domain name and that's going to be your subdomain FTP username. Now this might all be a bit overwhelming but trust me have a look at the videos under the C panel and that might make things a little more clear but what I want to do is show you that uh, I've just added another domain and it's added it under public HTML forward slash new domain dot com so whenever I want to access this domain that's how I access it through the C panel. You can generate a password uh, if you don't like that one just hit generate password and you have to click here and use that password so don't try to go into this new domain dot com because it's just I just typed it in it's just an example but this is how you add domains once you once you buy a domain from your GoDaddy site this is how you actually allocate it now as uh, as this ad said here you've got unlimited disk space bandwidth and uh, this allows you to do is add a number of these domains using the one C panel so it's a very very nice way of collecting your domains and managing them under one software program so let me just click on home So once we get back to the uh, C panel, I have probably about 10 or 20 uh, C panels. And there's also this other thing, which is Web Host Manager, WHM. Now, if you want to learn a bit more about this, this allows me to have a number of C panels under one software program. So instead of going into separate C panels, this Web Host Manager allows me to, once again, control a lot of C panels under one software umbrella. So if you want to learn a bit about uh, this, uh, it's also very good for SEO because you can separate your um, C panels into different IP addresses and switch those IP addresses quite easily. So it's uh, very good for um, keeping 